Hello, Amy Roper here from Connect Health, Fitness and Wellness. How are you doing today? So today, I'm going to show you how to foam roll. So last week, I showed you how to foam roll your lower body. So just click up here if you want to see a lower body foam rolling session. And today, I'm going to do a little bit of upper body foam rolling, mainly focus on well, only focusing around your thoracic spine so your upper back is what i'm going to focus on today the foam roller i'm using is just a cheap one that i got from grab one or groupon one of those sites i can't remember the shop but that's where i ordered it from so it was dead cheap it's got some little lumpy bumpy bits on which is quite nice because as you roll over it it gets in and it massages all of those areas Today, however, we're kind of releasing the joints in the spine, so each vertebrae. And I'm going to do one minute per stretch. And I've got my timer today to make sure that I don't go over, otherwise I could quite easily sit in a position for ages. So what we're going to do, a lot of us, if I just turn around, you'll see where I'm curving my back. A lot of us get quite tight in that area. And it can be partly due to sitting at the computer, sitting at our phone. How many of us look at our phone like this? Yeah? So, by the end of the day, that is quite tight, quite fatigued, so we're just going to work on that. The first thing I want you to do, so I recommend getting a long foam roller because this isn't quite long enough, because what I want you to do with it is lie on it lengthways, placing it between your spine, well, between your shoulder blades, along your spine, rest it on your tailbone, if you can I want you to rest your head on it, because we're going to open up the chest. That's the first thing we're going to focus on once I get my timer working. Okay, so I'll just... Here we go. So, lying on it, getting tailbone on, and then lying the head. And what I want you to do is... Start with putting your arms up, so you need to ground your feet, this is why I've got bare feet, so I can get more feedback from the ground. But place your arms up, and then if you've got room, I've got a wall in the way, just open up your chest, open up your arms, get them as close to the ground as possible. And you're just going to sit here and breathe, or lie here and breathe. can lift your arms a little bit higher. You'll feel where it's tight in the front of your shoulder. And if the front of your shoulder is tight or your chest is tight, it's going to pull your shoulders forward, which will create that rounded back effect. Take a nice big breath, relaxing. Every out breath, just feel your body relax. Every in breath, feel your chest expand, feel that stretch. We'll go for another 30 seconds. Big inhale. And then exhale, let your body relax. arms up and then to bring over your head and do a kind of pull your hands pull your arms have a bit of a stretch and 
And this one we're just gonna bring our arms down again. Feel your shoulder blades relax around and then bring them back up. Working on that mobility of the shoulder, see how far back they'll go. And then up again. Breathing steadily throughout. Try not to arch the back. Okay, so it's rolling off to the side. The next one, which can be a bit painful, so if you've got a pillow or something, place that under your head. Good. I want you to place the foam roller now horizontally across your back, just around the lower part of your ribs, just under your shoulder blades, and you're going to reach up if you need to, cut the back of your head, and you're leaning backwards. If you can, have your bum and your head sitting on the floor. You can't. Don't. It helps to have a hood when you're when you're doing this one because then you can just grab the hood and pull your head up. Once you've got that, you can start reaching. Again, just lie over here, stretching out the upper back. feels most comfortable is an uncomfortable position. You can shuffle as well. So grab the head, lift the head, and just curve back. So you're not really using your abs to sit up. Right, for the last 30 seconds, we're just going to go back and forth and roll back and forth, supporting the head. Going up to the neck. I say to the neck, not on the neck, so we'll stay at the top of the spine. Okay. So our next stretch, we're going to do um, thread the needle with a thoracic twist. So I get my timer back. I can see. So what we're going to do is get one arm, you're going to follow the arm hand with your eyes. So reaching through and then twisting and looking up towards the sky. As far as your body will let you, if you can't see your hand, stop looking. Oh, stop reaching up and then reaching through and reaching up just like a dance. So one minute on this side, reach, so feel the shoulder blades open, and then twisting, reaching up. So that is all the foam rolling for the thoracic that I wanted to show you, but the rest is a thoracic mobilization. Reaching across, reaching up. So if you've got tight sides, you'll feel this as well on the side. Reaching across, reaching up. Good. Keep reaching. Twist. Look up. A few more. Ten seconds. Reaching through, reaching up. Okay. So let's do the same on the other side. Arm out. Reaching through, turning around, opening up the chest, reaching up. So it's all opening up the chest, rotating, a lot of those. I am very tight. Normally a lot easier than this. Good. Reaching through, so I reach through, 
twist, and reach up. Exhale, you're just softening the body, melting to the ground. Okay, so your next one. You're going to move, this is why I like using a mat. Move your left hand off the mat. Place your right hand, you can walk in if you need to, on top of your left. And then you're going to sink down in the same position. Now the stretches move down to one side. So now you're feeling the stretch on the left side a bit more. So the deeper breath you take, the more those muscles will stretch as the bones expand in your ribs and then as you breathe out everything relaxes. Okay, and then that is it. I thought I stopped the timer. Never mind. So thank you for joining me for today's stretch. If you would like to learn some more stretches, please let me know in the comments. I like to learn a bit about the people who watch and see how I can help serve you best. If you would like to see other stretches though, I have got a playlist, you can just click over here. And to subscribe to my channel, which I would love for you to do, please just click over here. So. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. None of that, which is what I just did. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye for now.